Hola everyone, this is Miss Leah from Language University and today's Spanish Through Fun is brought to you by Carefully. Allison, tell us about Carefully. Hi everyone, welcome to Carefully. For those of you that are new, Carefully is a great app for sharing care with your uh, friends and your family. Uh, you can swap play dates, you can um, help each other out when you need to run errands, lots of fun things like that. And we also have some great uh, virtual events like the one today. Thanks, Allison. Okay, we're gonna get started with our Buenos Dias song. So everybody grab your instrumentos. Maybe you have a shaker shaker or a tambourine or a guitarra. Grab whatever it is. Maybe you wanna use your manos. Maybe you just wanna to sing today. Maybe you just wanna use your voice, your voice. So we are going to get started. We're gonna sing Buenos Dias, Como Estas, Como Estas, How Are You? Then we answer Estoy Bien, Gracias, which means I'm good, thank you. Now you know all the words to our Buenos Dias song. So we're gonna do it right now. Here we go. Uno, dos, tres. Buenos días, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Buenos días, ¿cómo estás? Estoy bien, gracias. Cha, cha, cha. Buenos días, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Buenos días, ¿cómo estás? Estoy bien, gracias. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Shake it out, shake it out. Okay, perfecto. Guys, today we are still in the invierno, the winter time, but we're going to be doing a story today. So maybe some of you know The Mitten by Jan Brett, such a classic. We're going to be doing this story today, but we don't just do a story like normal. We always have to add our silly Spanish twist to everything we do. So it's going to be a little bit different than maybe you remember. Still gonna be about a meet on, but we'll see what these characters do in the story. So we're gonna get started. So grab yourself a comfy, cozy blankie, and we're going to take ourselves into the bosque, the forest, where it's cold. I say frio. Ooh. Here we go. Oh, you know who's in this story first? It's not just your normal character. It is a very naked, naked Chico. Yes, once upon a time, our Chico was in the bosque when he was looking around to find something to play. And as per usual, our Chico was not dressed for the invierno. He wasn't wearing his abrigo. He wasn't wearing his sombrero or his botas, and he definitely wasn't wearing his mitones, his mittens. And in fact, he lost a miton blanco, a white mitten that got caught in the viento, the, um, that, <laughs> what is this? This is the viento, this is our wind, of course. The viento took away the miton and it landed in the bosque. Who do we think is going to find it? Here is our little miton in the nieve, the snow. Well, you know what, amigos? It blended right in so well that no one, including Chico, was ever going to spot it. That is until a little teeny tiny topo. The topo, the little mole, spotted that miton and he decided he could stay snugly warm all year round if he just snuck on into the miton oh, and he got comfy cozy. Now that seems like a good ending to the story, but it's only the beginning, amigos, because there was already some other animal animal on the way. Let's see if you can figure out who's on their way next. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh my goodness. <gasps> see, it's the conejo. This conejo is just loving to hippity hop around the bosque. He also blends in with the nieve, the snow. So he was pretty good at being able to spot things that were hiding in the nieve. And guess what? He did spot that miton with a little topo inside. Hola, hola, topo. Hola. I'm going to come in there and be snuggly warm with you all winter long. 
Um, Uh-oh. Amigos, do you think that little teeny tiny Topo wanted the Conejo, the hippity hoppity Conejo to join him in the Miton? I don't think so either. Nope. But that didn't stop the Conejo from hippity hoppity hippity his way on in. Oh my goodness. I guess they can have sleepovers every single day of the winter. I don't know if that's what Topo wanted, but it's sure what the Conejo wanted. And you know what? That Muton stretched out a little more and there was another animal already on the way. The next animal, whoa, oh, oh, oh my goodness, whoa. It's one that likes to roll around. It's a hedgehog. In Spanish, the hedgehog is called erizo, erizo. And erizo, oh, 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 erizo is covered in spikes. Oh, this doesn't sound very good. And that Eriso was roly polying his way around the bosque when he spotted the Miton. Hola, hola, hola. Oh, oh, are we having a party in here? I'm just gonna roll myself on in. Ow, oh, ow, oh, oh, oh. Oh my goodness gracious. Everybody wanted to get out because that Eriso was so prickly. And now it was the Eriso that little tiny topo and the conejo all in the tiny miton. Do you think they were comfy? They were comfy cozy anymore? I don't wanna be in that miton is all I'm gonna say. And you know what? There was already another animal on the way. Up next, who, who? Wait, are you asking me the question of who's up next? Who, who? Of course, it was the bull. The bull says hoo hoo. And the bull was flying overhead when he spotted all of his amigos in the miton. <gasps> the bull thought to himself, oh my gosh, you guys, they are totally throwing me a fiesta, a party for my birthday. Oh my, it's a surprise party for me. It's not until next week, but you know what? My friends are just like that. They're so kind. Of course, I should just swoop on down and, oh, amigos, are you throwing a party for me? Um, do you think they're really throwing a party for the bull? I don't think so, but don't tell the bull yet because he is definitely ready to get inside, fly right on side of that miton. Oh goodness, amigos, it does not look comfy cozy in there. And bad news, there's already another animal on the way. This time, instead of flying overhead, it was something under the ground. Do you know who likes to live under the ground? Oh, it kind of looks like a raccoon. It kind of looks like a badger or a honey badger. The Tejon is a badger. The Tejon uses his claws to dig underneath the dirt. And that Tejon was at the bottom um, underneath all of the yerba, the grass, and he was burrowed underneath for the invierno, the winter until he listened to what sounded like all of his amigos outside playing. <gasps> oh, 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 it must be spring, la primavera. Amigos, was it spring? It is not spring out, but Tejon is buried so far underneath, he doesn't know, he just hears his amigos. So we took his claws and he burrowed himself all the way to the tippy top and saw, boop, the miton filled with all of his amigos. And his amigos were like, hola Tejon, hola Tejon, hola Tejon. And the Tejon was like, oh my gosh, you guys, wait a second. It is not spring right now. You guys tricked me. It's freezing out here. I want to go back down underneath the ground. You know what? Everybody's in there. Well, are we celebrating your birthday party? So the Tejon, instead of going on home, went right into that Miton. And there's like not even any room on that side of the Miton. So I'm gonna have to try and sneak him in here. Oh my goodness, that is one busy Miton. And amigos, that's not even it. That's not even close. Because our next animal was already on the way. And this one was a sneaky guy. Amigos, do you, wait, do you see that? Oh, oh, oh 
my good. Oh, oh, oh gosh, it's a Soro. And if anybody's ever seen Dora the Explorer, you know that a Soro is so sneaky sly. And that Soro didn't even tell anybody that he was going into the Miton. He just saw everybody in there and decided, boop, I'm going to sneak on in. Um, he snuck in and all of a sudden it got even more crowded and everyone was like, hey, Soro, what? you're taking up all the room. And Soro was like, um, what are you talking about? This is my Miton. I was here the entire time. Welcome to my Miton. Glad to have you. Uh, I, hear, I hear there's birthday cake for Bull. Let's break that out. And the animales knew that that Soro had not been in there the entire time. But what was anybody going to say? It was so crowded in there. And that is not even the end because there is already another animal on the way. This one sounded a little bit different. Instead of having a very high voice like the other animales, this one sounded maybe just a little spooky. Listen up and tell me if you can hear him. <laughs> Oh my goodness, wait a second. Are you sure you are? Oh, oh my gosh. Amigos, that is definitely the sound of an oso. And that's not just any oso. That is the mama, the mommy oso. So that is a very big oso. And this oso was looking for food, not very, yeah, good at hiding. She was definitely looking for something to eat. And there was all of these animales inside the miton. <gasps> what do you think's gonna happen to them? Do you think they're gonna be okay? The oso smelled all of the animales inside that miton and she wandered over to them and she started growling again. <gasps> Everybody was silent. Oh my goodness. Are they about to be eaten? Oh my gosh. It's Oso. Hola, Oso. Hola, hola. Are we having a birthday party in here? Can I come inside? Is there food in here? What? Move on over. I'm just going to come on in. And before anybody could even say anything, that Oso stuck his booty inside and was hanging out with everybody else. That miton could not possibly fit any more animales left in it. But wait a second, there's one more animal that was on the way. It was a teeny tiny raton. The little raton was wandering around when she spotted everybody in the miton. Uh, hola everyone, hola, hola, can you let me in? Let me in everybody. I'm the little, little raton. I'm just gonna slide in here and I'm just going to. Oh my goodness, that miton could not even stretch anymore. It was so dangerous. Nobody could move at all. The eriso spikes were everywhere. The oso's teeth were everywhere. What? Oh, oh guys, guys, hold on. I just have to. Oh my goodness, amigos. I'm so sorry I had to sneeze there. All of the animales went flying everywhere. And so did that miton. It took the viento, the wind, all the way back to the step of Chico's casa. That's his house. And guess what? For once, Chico's about to find his ropa de invierno, his winter clothes. And he's going to find that miton. Do you think it's going to be a little stretched out? I just hope there's no spikes in there left over. Okay, well, that was our version of the Miton, and you can find other stories like that on our YouTube channel and also on our website, okay? So we're going to do our adios song to say goodbye, and maybe you can act like your favorite animal from our story. Are you going to roll around like the erizo? Are you going to yell and uh, like the big oso? Are you going to pretend you're the tuna tuna topo? Or maybe you're gonna hippity hop around like our conejo? Are you gonna be sneaky sneaky like the zorro? Are you going to fly like the buo? Or are you going to be the little raton, the little teeny tiny mouse? You get to decide Miss Leah is going to be whoo, whoo, 
Well, none other than the bull. So let's pretend to transform ourselves into the anima so we can do our adios song like them. So I'm going to get out my, my alas, my wings, and I'm going to go flying around for our adios song where we say adios and hasta luego. Hasta luego means see you later. Here we go, animales. Uno, dos, tres. Hasta luego, chicos. Adios, amigos. Gracias por todo. Hasta luego, chicos. Hasta luego, chicos. Adios, amigos. Gracias por todo. Hasta luego, chicos. Uh, uh, uh. Hasta luego, chicos. See you next week. Adios.